If you're using Power BI Embedded, this video's for you and it's gonna be a good one. What's up guys, Adam Saxon from the Guy in a Cube YouTube channel and I've got an update for you on Power BI Embedded. A while back I did a video that talked about the JavaScript Embed report sample that's available for you to use. And to illustrate some of the things I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna show you an updated version of that sample. Okay, let's start off with some self-service capabilities. So within the JavaScript sample app, one of the things you're gonna see after you authorize the report or you select the sample report, on the embed tab, you're gonna see three options now. Either one, you can just view the report, this is what you could do before. The next thing you're gonna notice is that you can edit the report in the browser. So this is similar to what you could do on powerbi.com, and this gives you full editing capabilities within the browser itself. Once you've made changes that you wanna make, you can go ahead and save it. You can also do a save as capability, which we'll come back to in a minute. The next option that you can do is create a new report. So this is based off of a given data set. So you would pass it the data set ID that we wanna create the new report against. So that means you get a fresh blank canvas in the browser, you can create the report that you want and then save that to the Power BI embedded service. If we switch over to the Interact tab in the sample, you're gonna see some edit options that we can do now that are available from an operation standpoint. Inside of there, you're gonna see some items such as save, save as. We can actually create a new copy of that report. We can save the existing report when we're in edit mode. Also, the save and save as capabilities are available to us when we're creating a new report. The other thing we can do is if we're in view mode, we can actually toggle to go into edit mode and then toggle back into view mode. So this is very similar functionality that you would be used to if you've used powerbi.com. These are all available from the JavaScript API perspective. Along with those JavaScript API updates, we've also had some updates on the REST API, especially with regards to data connectivity. So one thing you can do now is you can actually create a data set through the REST API. So we don't necessarily have to upload a PBIX file. We can just create that data set right from the REST API. So this is gonna be very similar to what you would do in the Power BI SaaS service. You can use those commands now with Power BI Embedded. Along with that, we can also do pushing of data into that data set from a REST API perspective. Again, very similar to what we could do in PowerBI.com. There were also a few other management API items that were added. One is the ability to clone a report. So I can just say, hey, I wanna make a copy of that report. And then the other is that I can change the data set that a report points to. There were a few other items, so be sure to check out the documentation updates that are made for this update for Power BI Embedded so that you can see everything that's new in the service for this update. Let me know if you have any questions on this update. Be sure to leave that down in the comments below and I will try and answer those for you. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the Power BI YouTube channel along with the Guy in a Cube YouTube channel for more great content. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.